so I'm out on another backpacking trip, uh, this time hiking into the Olympic National Park. I'm starting on the Dose Wallop River Road. I've also heard it saying Dosey Wallop, so I'm not quite sure on the pronunciation. The ranger did tell me Dosey Wallops, I swear, so go with that. So Dosey Wallops River Road, and then I'm gonna veer off and hit the Lacrosse Basin. I'm really excited to go to Lacrosse Lake and Anderson Pass and Anderson Glacier. So it's a four-day backpacking trip, uh, roughly about around 16 miles a day. Um, and yeah, just another great weekend. Weather forecast looks awesome. Um, a bit on the hot side, but uh, plenty of water along this trail I know. So no, no dry camping on this trip. <laughs> love the network of trails out here like you can get to Hayden Pass from up here which I have a plan on a different backpack trip from a different trailhead but you can do it from here oh so cool yeah onward Super pretty. Spots quiet by the water. Took another little break here at the Diamond Meadows Camp. Another great little spot along the river. Uh, I got 2.7 miles left and I'm at Honeymoon Meadows for the night. So now there's a bit of a more of a climb uh, ahead of me, uh, but that's why I took a break. <laughs> you probably can't tell, but yeah, it's definitely getting steep. With the miles getting to camp here. Oh. Making my way up across pass, but you're definitely getting distracted with the berries that are going along here. Uh, blueberries, not so much, but the huckleberries are so delicious. So, I guess we're in the season of getting distracted by berries. It's just absolutely wild out here. It is so beautiful. Lots of berries. Gotta say the blueberries up top here are way better. Looks like the sign for the cross pass has maybe seen better days, but still exists. Uh, it has just been really stunning up here. 
So after those great views at La Crosse Pass, uh, I'm gonna make my way down. I don't know if you can see all those switchbacks. I think it's about 3,000 feet of loss in 3.3 miles. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I don't really care for downhill, but these views on this other side are really great. So enjoying these, but got quite the long descent. So much descent and blowdowns. These ones aren't bad, but there was a massive one. I didn't film it. Oh, but I think there's more ahead. Right when you're like, am I following an animal trail or a real trail? Came out here and look at the super defined trail. This is where I was, La Crosse Pass. There's another sign here. Awesome. So I'm headed the direction of the upper Duckabush camp. Yay. Pretty brushy. Perks of hiking later in the season is water fords aren't so treacherous. Got this little trickle here. I think I have two more to do today, so hopefully they're just as calm. Or maybe one more. The first one I had was just a rock hop, so didn't film it. You always know you're getting close to your main camp. Find signs for it. So head to Marmot Lake. Alright, another potential ford, but you can like use the beach to get across. So easy and so beautiful. So beautiful out here. That was quite the climb getting to Marmot Lake. Super pretty. Can explore it. I'm gonna go to Heart Lake, Cross Lake, just trying to get enough energy to do it. Uh, but I found a really great campsite here. Uh, it'll be a great spot to have dinner at and then Yeah, I think I don't need a rain fly at all tonight. Um, so it'll be perfect to look at the stars. I've only gone like 0.6 miles from camp and it's so beautiful out here. Much easier without your backpacking pack. I kind of forget with all the backpacking I've done this summer. So nice. So I think I'm going to go visit Hart Lake. I think it's 0.3 miles uh, one way. And then when I come back here, I'll go to La Crosse and you can kind of see like a little bit of it over there too. So yeah, a little lake hop in before I head back to my lake camp spot. Well, that's fun. That's Marmot Lake, where I'm camped. <laughs> it's just so beautiful out here. leaving and the lake and just saw a bear moseying down so I thought I would just look pretty young too uh, make some noise and uh and then he just ran away the direction of the trail so that's not great um yeah but my first bear sighting in the summer and of course in the olympics so lots of hay bear but I can see the bear again no rustles in, in the in the woods so all good. Now I'm just enjoying these great views on my way back to Marmot Lake. Beautiful start to the morning. Oh, really great views. It's already really toasty out. When I got up at 5.30, I didn't need a down jacket. Like this thin sun shirt was warm enough. 
Uh, I know today and tomorrow I'm supposed to be a bit of a heat wave, so I wanted to get an early start. Kind of a long day. Well, actually, it's my longest day. It should be a little over 17 miles. Uh, hopefully, the terrain isn't as tough uh, as yesterday, but I think the heat just takes a lot out of you, at least out of me. Because um, I was like debating was yesterday really that challenging, or was it the heat or combination? So, I have a feeling today similar. So, whenever I can find a creek, like water breaks are going to be really important. Um, just to like maybe the day will take longer just because you just need to take more breaks because of the heat. So, excited for today. I'm gonna go do a side trip to Anderson Glacier. Um, yeah, and uh, just so happy to be out here. They probably can't tell here because they look like bull blobs. Uh, but there are two bears ahead. So, bear count on this trip is three, and three total for the summer. Of course, in the Olympics. <laughs> oh, so bear heavy, that's where I saw the majority of my bears last summer. So, time to start being extra loud. All right, here's a better view. I've been shouting, I think he's right on the trail. And he doesn't care. It's his home. So I've been some pie, delicious berry treats. All right. I got off the trail. <laughs> Let him be. <sighs> and made lots of noise. And then once I felt it was safe enough, I hiked back up to the trail. So, but out of breath from that. But yeah, bear aware. Bear's own mule path. All right, fourth, fourth bear. Third bear this morning. Plenty far away. Look at this great view. Wow. Making my way down O'Neill Pass. Bears love the morning. Fifth bear. So I haven't been really keeping track via video, but this is our seventh bear this morning. Eight bears total on the trip. So just one yesterday, none the first day. Pretty low count. this morning. So I dropped my backpack off there. And uh, now I'm just making the 0.9 miles to Anderson Glacier, Anderson Moraine. I think that glacier is pretty long gone. It's a different uh, hiking without uh, your, your backpack on. Uh, but I do have like some essentials. I wrap my raincoat around my waist and like the pockets are full of the important things. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a grind. Definitely worth the effort to get up here. Super stunning. Looks like there's little cattails hanging it down to the water. That is not what I'm doing on this trip. Uh, but so much nicer not to have your backpack with you, but still a grind. Uh, so I'm gonna spend some time up here, cool off a little bit, enjoy the nice breeze that's going on, and then head back down the trail to my backpack and 
make it on to camp. So making my way back down to Anderson Pass and now I'm at Camp Siberia. A lot of really cool spots, like huge massive spots. And there's actually a shelter here. Um, you just don't really see many like shelters, camp shelters in Washington, but you do a bit of the Olympics. So uh, here's a little shot of it. So yeah, it looks like a really nice shelter. Even space in the back if you wanted to sleep. I always be like, I would always be worried about mice. <laughs> But a good spot to like cook and if the weather was iffy or you're looking for shade, also important today, really neat. Back to where I was two days ago. Ah, oh, memories going up the grass pass. Set up camp here at Diamond Meadows, have a really nice spot next to the water. Another really hot afternoon. It was really nice to get it here. Dropped my stuff, soaked my feet, got in the water a little bit, and now it's time for dinner, my last night at camp. Off and rolling this morning a little bit after six, trying to beat this heat wave a little bit. You know, it's going to be a lot of heavy vegetation, so I just feel like it just radiates heat. Uh, so nice, cool temperature this morning, but I don't expect it to last too long. But it should be a nice, like, 13, it's a little over 13 miles back uh, to the trailhead. So just going to enjoy this last morning on trail. Okay, back at the original Dos Wallops trailhead. So now I've just got my road walked back to my car. station up there. 